and gentlemen, I have actually been waiting for it to rain sufficiently to make this video. Uh, we are in the city of Bacalod, and uh, this is the Plaza Mart. It has a series of stores that you can buy just about anything you want, uh, dry goods, uh, camera supplies, handbags, phones, accessories, cameras, the whole nine yards, anything that's not edible. And across the street from the Plaza Mart is a small area where people gather to have their tricycles and bicycles for the, to for the tourists. And this is, this is a typical little uh, tricycle. This is a motorized tricycle. And this is, uh, this is a plastic bag. And I have driven in these in the rain, and it's pretty cool, I gotta tell you. Um, it's, it's, I worked on a barge in the North Atlantic. We didn't even have plastic. These guys got plastic. And they will, it doesn't matter how hard it's raining, they will get in this with two or three or four people, and they will go to town. They'll bring you anywhere you wanna go, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And this is, these are where the motorcycles park that the people use for the tourists. Now we're gonna go a little bit to the front, right in front of the Welcome to the City of Bokalod. There's another series of stores over there. And within this space here, you should be able to buy anything edible or non-edible, electronics, fans, sofas, TVs. This is a, it's a discount center. It's like, it's like the, uh, the, the east end of, lower east side of Manhattan when it was a discount area. So this is the city of Buffalo. And where we're going now is into the park. And they have some statues there. And they have uh, some little displays in the back. And we'll find out what they have when we get there. Now, now look, now you just saw this is the city of Bacalod, yeah? Up there. And look at the hole they have right here. Big enough for it, one size fits all. So uh, everything is tented now. We're going to go into the back and we're going to tour around this city. Uh, let's do it in a clockwise fashion. This is the back of that monument by Buntag. Yeah. When you're in a city, no one wants to say hello. Buntag. You see? Nobody. It's not such a friendly place, I'll tell you that right now. Not as friendly as, I, as Bahal or Palawan, even Cebu. So there doesn't seem to be much around here to, the, to Wala, which is the left, except trees. And probably it's different types of flora, but I don't know about that either. So... Here's a beautiful statue. Negros Occidental Club. And there's a basketball court over there for some recreation. Beethoven, Mozart, Wagner. Oh, it's a, it's a, a, a podium donated uh, to the musicians of the famous musicians of the world. Musicians. We have Beethoven to the left, Mozart, Wagner.
Now, one thing I want you to notice, I am the only foreigner here. There are no Americans, no Chinese that I could tell right offhand, no Europeans, no French, no German. I am the only white American that I have seen in the city of Bocalot since I got here. Something you want to make note of if you're expecting to come here and socialize with other white Americans, probably not going to happen. And I've been to a dozen different hotels, and uh, now I'm going to the SM Mall where they would congregate if they were going to congregate. And wait, okay, so it's just doubled up. It doubled up with the names. So we'll just continue going around. Checkerboard floor, probably just for design. More than Masonic signs and symbols, but that does look like an obelisk. An obelisk right there. I could be wrong. I don't know what it represents, but it's definitely an obelisk. Ah, it's a war memorial. There's a helmet on top. Okay. Oh, what's behind here? That looks like a pretty good sized building. We will go explore. This is P Rock floor, but it's not Taurus P Rock. There's different types of people. Wow, that's a big church. Oh, oh my God, the building's starting to crumble as Rabbi Jew Barker approaches the big church. Okay, that's a college over there. Jackson. We can go quickly look. I am the only foreigner here, period. That's a nice tree. Bakhansolan College. La Consolation, La Consolation College. Okay, and there is the SM Mall, straight ahead. One time. Bell Tower, it looks like on both sides. A belfry. Some statues of Jesus. You can feel the energy from this building. No Bacacum. I am telling you, there's a field of energy around this building like you wouldn't believe. You can feel it right around your chest. And uh, the, for some reason, underneath my armpits. You can actually feel uh, not a tingling, like a pressure. Ah, some nice bells. I guess these are the spare bells or the cracked bells. Hmm. Boy, I always wanted a bell like this. You have no idea how close I came to having a two-foot bell at one time. Several of them. We need to find something to hit that with. And I have just the thing. Lions Club. Manny, you're going to have a field day with this one. Look at this bell. I'll get it. Oh my God, it's ringing, but the bell ain't ringing. 
Wait, it's at least seven inches thick. No, it's about four inches thick. There's a dinger in there. It's a wooden dinger. Let's see if we can get it to work. Wow. This bell is about 54 inches in diameter, maybe 60 inches. Now, people are looking at me like I have two heads. I don't know why, but they are. Now, you guys are going to say, why don't you go in the mall? Well, I guess I could do that in the church, but I will wait when there isn't so many people in there. I will come back another day. I'm supposed to be with May today. She doesn't like being in the rain. So yesterday she said she didn't want to go in the rain. May is a fickle woman. That's the beautiful young lady that you see on the uh, bicycle tricycle. She was supposed to be here yesterday, but she didn't come because it was for one rain. So she was late, and then it really started to rain, and only I would walk in that rain. So we canceled the day, and we had a nice, relaxing day having lunch and chit chatting. Today, she was going to be here at 8.30 in the morning, however, her sister was two and a half hours late. And then she was going to be here at 10.30. This is a, a little synopsis of what is called Filipino time. Synopsis. So she was going to be here at 8 o'clock yesterday, then it was 8.30, then it was 10.30, and she ended up coming at 1 in the afternoon. Today it was 8.30, then 10.30, and here's what they do. Whatever time they're supposed to be where you are to meet, two minutes after that time, they tell you they're not going to be there for two more hours. That is standard procedure. And any of you guys, Sunborg, whatever your name is, and that other guy leaving crappy comments on my videos, Whatever you want to believe, when you get here, you will see for yourself. Be, be my guest. These people don't know how to tell time, and they don't care if you're on vacation and they ruin your day. Now, today she said she'd be here at 8.30, and then it was 10.30, and at 10.30 she left a message saying she would be here at around 12.45, maybe. No, I said maybe. She said 1245. That doesn't mean anything when they say 1245, by the way. Nothing at all. It just means they picked the time out of their hat, and the time they picked out of their hat was 1245. Now, this is a pretty cool little place to have. Uh, I will show you. My Mbuntag. Now, what you see for the hamburgers, it's buy one, take one. So for 26 pesos, or 25 pesos, you get two hamburgers. For 35 pesos, which is about 80 cents, you get two hamburgers. They have these little angel stores all over the place. And the hamburgers are okay. They're a little bit, about half the size, my Mbuntag. They're about half the size of a White Castle hamburger. So the bread is about the size of 
a McDonald's quarter pounder, and the hamburger is about the size of a little smaller than a white cow. My important part. This is the rest of the menu. Okay, everybody. Voila, hold on. Voila, yeah? Goodbye. Goodbye. I told them the rain was small. No, no, no. I, I will go later. I just, I'm showing the people on YouTube the bicycle tricycles. I want to go to Yoke. Follow the hook. This is a different one. Uh, fresh plastic. What? Fresh, fresh cellophane. Fresh. Look out! Look out! Look out! Look! 